after all the comments and the backlash, I've done a lot of learning, I've done a lot of introspection, and honestly, I feel really bad. I, I, I just wanna apologize if at any point in my previous video I implied that a gold medal was in any way, shape or form better than a silver or bronze medal. It, it was wrong of me to suggest that a country winning an event and getting gold had somehow outperformed a country that had gotten a silver or bronze. I've learned, I've improved. I, I now know that a gold medal and a bronze medal are effectively exactly the same thing and it would be silly to differentiate them on a tally. I will try harder and I will, I will be better. Okay, now that the fake apology is out of the way, and that was a fake apology, make no mistake, I still received very many uh, hateful comments, which I thought would be fun for us to go through. I had a lot of people uh, call me Euro trash, which is very offensive uh, because I am Australian trash. All right, my ancestors did not get arrested for old timey crimes and put on a boat and sent to Australia so I could be called Euro trash. Thank you very much. One of the meanest ones was the person who tagged the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, that's right, ICE, and said, Deport this man. Most people just kept saying, why are you so mad, bro? Why are you so upset? Which annoyed me because I, I'm not angry. I'm, I'm calm, I'm not bothered, and I'm just... Oh, I'll kill you. You take that down. Let's talk about the tallies themselves. No one method is flawless. They all have their own problems. First one, which is the international standard, is gold, which is the idea whoever has the most gold medals is in the lead. And if two countries have the same amount of gold, then whoever has the most silver will be a tiebreaker and then bronze. Now, this is a fine method. It's good because it promotes the most important factors who actually won the event. The next system, is the one that is, you see in America most of the time, which is the idea of the total medal tally, which is where they count the gold, silver, and bronze all equally, which is fine in some ways, but the problem is, it means that a gold has the exact same weight as a bronze, which doesn't really make sense. Some people suggest that we should do the tally based on population, right? Because the more people a country has, the more athletes they can send, therefore the more opportunities they have to win medals. So if you do a per capita rating and you get rid of certain outliers, like really small countries, etc., you'll find that the team that's actually number one is a stre New Zealand. What do you mean Australia's not best per capita? That's the whole thing we tell everybody. It's what makes us happy inside. And this is the most embarrassing thing that's happened to Australia, all Olympics. Wait, what happened in breakdancing? Oh no, not the ray gun. Okay, whatever. The point is, New Zealand is first, okay? And if you go to New Zealand, you will see this medal tally precisely nowhere because that would be really sad. That would be so embarrassing for them if they use this all the time, a little made up tally, they made themselves feel better. Can you imagine if you're an American, you jump on a plane for holiday, you fly to New Zealand, you get off the plane and you're on your phone looking at you know, NBC or whatever Olympic tally you're looking at and it shows America first, most gold, most global, most total, whatever. And then you step into the airport bar and you see a big screen showing New Zealand sports program and it has New Zealand number one. And everyone's running around high-fiving each other. We did it, gang. We won the Olympics. And then they look at you and they go, oh, American, oh, so sad. You're all the way down in 48. You'll get him next time, champ. Wouldn't that be embarrassing for them? Wouldn't that be humiliating that they made their own little system that no one else was doing just so they could feel better? At this point, one thought is crying out in your head. You're going, shut up, Julian, okay? It's always been total medals. I don't know where this gold thing came from. It's always been total medals. You are wrong, you dumb Australian, you're wrong. And here's the thing. I know why you think it's always been total medals. Because of propaganda. Because yes, maybe in America, from your perspective, it's always been total medals, never gold. But that's just because your news agency has been pushing that. But in reality, the whole world and the Olympics does it by gold. And whilst it's true the Olympic Committee doesn't say there's one guaranteed definite way that everyone has to do it, they have their standard that they have done for every Olympics prior to this one. And also, every other media agency in the world is doing it a certain way. South Africa, Italy, Spain, all these other countries, I looked at them all today, got all the screenshots, they're all doing gold. It's just America that's doing total. Here's another piece of propaganda. The bald eagle, the emoji I've been sent two million times over the last 10 days. Uh, you might know it as this sound. <laughs> Terrifying, fierce, strong American sound. Not actually what a bald eagle does. That sound is a red-tailed hawk. This is what a bald eagle sounds like. You? you know, like you're trying to get a word in edgewise in a Zoom meeting, but you're not confident enough. Or when you stub your toe, but you don't want to wake your girlfriend up. But don't feel bad, okay? Kangaroos aren't cool all the time. But 
kangaroos do have a very cool battle call. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, that's not it. This is the actual, this is what it actually sounds like. This is what it really sounds like. This is Democracy Manifest. He was a hero. So the question is, why does America do total medals as opposed to gold medals? And the answer is simple. It's because you're better at total medals. America has a bigger population, they send more athletes, so you always do better in total medals. And even if you sometimes win gold as well, which often is usually the case, frankly, total medals is always the one you dominate in. And that's why you chose it. And what frustrated me is in the comments, everyone was trying to make logical reasons of why it's better to do total medals versus gold medals, which is such an insincere and non-genuine argument. The idea that America thinks you should count first and third as the same is the most un-American idea I've ever heard in my entire life. America is the single most capitalist nation on earth. This nation of if you're successful, you can be a billionaire. And if you're poor, you can die in the street. So when you say that all medals should count the same. I don't think that's a genuine argument. I think you're saying it because you know it benefits you. The second argument is it's not even really your job to come up with a new standard. Even if you did feel this method was more fair or equitable, you're not allowed to do that. There's an International Olympics Committee. I'm also haven't mandated that everyone has to do it the exact same way. They have set the default that they and the rest of the world do. So why am I annoyed? Why am I angry? Why does anyone care? Why does any international person care? I'll tell you why. We know that you're the best. We're not blind. We know you win total medals every time and gold. But for one glorious week, every four years, before track and field starts, before team events start, for one glorious week, you're not on top. And we like to see that. We do. And it frustrates us that you so couldn't bear to spend even a week, even when you know that ultimately you will win, that you had to change the tally system just so you were on top from the beginning. Ultimately, I think America as like an institution isn't really capable of humility. And I'll prove that with a few reasons. My first one, most obviously, is when I said you weren't capable of humility was your first thought, why would I be humble when we're number one? <laughs> kind of proving my point. You get what I'm saying? And it also shows you don't really understand the purpose or definition of humility because the only time you can actually show humility is when you're in first place. That's a time you're meant to be humble. It doesn't count as humility when you come in last place. It doesn't count to be last and be like, well, we all played really well. I'm glad we all had fun. My second proof point is my TikTok video about the Olympics, the medals. That got taken down off TikTok because one of you Americans flagged it for hate speech. The mere notion of me suggesting that America was not in first place was hate speech. And thirdly, the comments I received were so numerous and so aggressive. It showed so many Americans watching it were so angry that they spent so much time. Not only did they comment on my video, but they waited. They waited 10 days very patiently until the time that America took the gold medal tally as well. And then I got about a thousand comments on other videos because my TikTok video got taken down. They were commenting on my other videos saying, look at the medal tally now. What's so funny about that is they had to leave my video and then find it again. Do you know how hard it is to find a video after you've scrolled past it? Hey, I got you this uh, clip. I thought you'd like it. Why don't you have a look at it? It's a fun little video. Oh, thank you. This is so cool. I really like this. I think I want to look at this again soon. Hold on. Hold it for one second. I'm just going to quick look at someone else and then just... Where's the video you just had? Is that not where you wanted that? I think what's most frustrating about that attitude, you have so many more resources than all of these other countries. So to do all of that, and also change the tally, it just seems really unfair. Can't beat us, too strong. What are the haters gonna say now? Come on. They thought we couldn't do it. Silence the haters. What? Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Point is you wanna be the country that's number one and recognized as such and has all the, is the favorite and has all the resources, but you kinda of wanna be supported like you're the underdog. And that can be frustrating on the outside. I mean, we have your sprinters who are incredible, but have more funding than any other sprinters on the planet. And then we have some woman from St. Lucia who wins the event and it cuts to her family who have so much less than the average person in America. And you expect us to root for you. And you expect us to think that your adversity was somehow greater than their adversity. You're not the average Joes from Dodgeball. You're Globo Jim. You're not Rocky punching meat in a butcher's freezer, okay? You're Ivan Drago with all of the resources of the Russian government in that movie. You're not the Mighty Ducks. You're Gordon Bombay's drinking problem. 
okay? Right, and as far as the humility thing, individual athletes, especially these games, were incredibly humble. Simone Biles uh, posted a photo with all of her medals and she said like, even in my wildest dreams, right? Which is an incredibly humble thing for someone to say when they were like an absolute lock to win it and they're the absolute goat of gymnastics, right? She didn't tweet, suck it, haters. And I don't know what you're thinking. If you don't like it, why don't you leave? And no, I'm gonna stay, okay? I like it here. It's an amazing place full of many amazing people. Uh, my life is here. Uh, my wife is here. My failing comedy career uh, is here. So I'm gonna stick around. Uh, but honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know